Hi guys, this is the refraction problem. Let me pull this up. Okay. So we have this light that is coming with an angle and it refracted and reflected inside. So we need to find what is the what is this angle here? Okay, so what is theta out? Cool. I kind of prepared everything here to not confuse myself. Alright, cool. So let's start. Alright, so they gave us the theta n here. So let's find the theta like out 1. Okay, I'll call this phi here. So let's find this guy here. So n1 so n1 will be the one for the air and the n2 will be for this material here all right so n1 sine of theta 1 will be equal to n2 sine of theta 2 okay so n1 is 1 and then the sine um, my theta n it was 75 and the N2 was 1.2 okay alright so sine of 75 well I should this is the angle that's between the um, perpendicular to the area the normal to the line the area and with the light here okay equal N2 which is 1.2 um, sine theta sine of phi 1 I'll call the phi 1 so the sine inverse 1 let's call this phi will be equal to oh no the phi here will be equal to um, sine 75 divided by 1.2 okay let's see this guy um, Sine inverse sine 75, close it, that'd be 1.2. So it's 53.6, okay? 53.6 is the, is the phi here, cool? So to find this guy, so 90 minus your answer, you'll get. 36.39 so I call this phi 2 so phi 2 is 36.39 okay alright cool so doing some trigonometry we know that this angle is phi 1 okay. and this angle will be phi 2 okay but how did we know that it got reflected, it didn't go down, right? Okay, well I knew that because the problem told me that it's going out this way, right? Okay. So, I think it was going, it's going to go at the speed of light, so it's going to go something like this. Fix this. You know, when we find the angle, we'll we'll deal with that. But it's going this way, so I knew that it got reflected somewhere here. Okay. But how would we really know that? Um. I right, know I should not, I should not say that. I should not say that. Let's just stick to the problem. Okay. So I knew it got reflected because some of it will get reflected, some will just stay the same or get refracted okay but they're asking about the reflected here okay um, all right so you know when it get reflected the same angle will be here and this guy is phi 2 this guy will be phi 2 same thing this one will be phi 1 and we know that this is 45 degrees right okay so 
So let's find this angle. How would we find this angle? Well, if we find this angle and we add it and we minus 90 out of this angle, we'll get this angle, right? So let's call this point here, let's call it A and then B and then C. So we have the triangle ABC, okay? All right, so let's find the angle A. So A will be 180, and then we're going to minus the 5, 1, minus 45, right? So 180 minus 5, 1, 5, 1 will be 53.6, minus 45, this is 180. So 180 minus 53.6, minus 45. So it's 81.4, right? Then um, this is the A angle. This is from here to here. And the whole thing from here to here is one is 90 degrees, right? So um, 90 minus your answer will give you 8.6, okay? So the um, this angle here, we'll call it phi 3. So phi 3 will be equal to 8.6 degrees, okay? Very cool. So now we need to find the other angle now, okay? Cool. Okay, so N1, um, this time it's N2, okay? So N2 and then um, sine of the B3 will be equal to N1 um, and this angle here, the one that we're going to find somewhere here. It's called phi 4. N1 sine phi 4. Okay. So oh, N2 is 1.2 and then sine of 3, sine of phi 3 is um, sine of 8.6. Okay, and then we'll take the sine inverse. Okay, so 1.2 times sine 8.6. Right, sine inverse. You get 10.33. So the 5.4 will be equal to 10.33. Right, so it's um. So where is it? It's this guy here. Okay. <coughs> so so this guy. Okay. So this guy is ten point three three. Okay. And they want um with respect to this guy here. Okay, so they want plus this part here. Okay, so this part we can know if we extend this part here down there, we'll get this is 45 degrees, right? If this is 90, and this will be also 45 degrees, right? So then the this angle using this one too and this one is 90 degrees like from here to here is 90 degrees and this guy is 45 so this guy is also 45 right and they want the whole thing from this point let me make it clear a little bit more so this is a little bit too much this is not 10 degrees but whatever so this is the angle they want okay can you see that this angle from here to here so if we know that this angle here is 10.33 and this guy here is 45 degrees then the whole thing is 45 plus 10.33 right 
So to take the whole angle, this is the normal, this is 10.33, this is 45. So we're just adding them together, so it's 55.33, and that's your angle. All right, all right, hope this helped, and good luck, guys. Smiley face.